Welcome to the 10th video on Microsoft Surface and Windows 8. In this video, I'm going to go through the, the contact application, um, which is called People on Windows 8. And this was an application that's front and center. Um, you see it right away when you first use your device. But I didn't quite realize the power of it um, until I sort of got a little bit further into it and started playing around with a couple of the applications. And so when you first start it, it's probably not going to show anything until you link it up with some other devices. Um, but it's for me, it's this one with all the picture scrolling. And what this is doing is showing me um, the, the shots that people are using for their profile pic in the different applications that I've connected to. And so I'm I'm going to click on that to, to start it up. Um, and this might be empty when you first start it. Um, as you connect with more and more of your accounts, though, it becomes quite interesting. And so up here in the corner is the one that is where it's showing which accounts I've linked it to. And so I've, account, I've linked it up to my work email address. I've worked, linked it up to Hotmail, Skype, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And you can actually get more information about that. You'll see there's a little bar up in the corner here. You can just click on that and it will show the accounts and list the information. And then you can go and add additional ones if you want to. Um, so you can see here I could attach it to another Hotmail account, Twitter if I was on it, another Outlook. Google, um, and then some new ones that I've never even heard of before. Um, so that gives you a couple of options there. Um, and if you want to see more information about the connection, um, you can click on it. And some of them, like this one here, actually gives you quite a bit of information. I believe this is the account that I'm signed in onto the system, so I can't remove it. Um, but it will show me a little bit more about it. But you can sort of go through here. Some of them will actually send you to a web page to do more configuration. Um, but this is how you would manage the different accounts that you want to you want to add to the system. Um, and so for mine, it's added a number of them and it's pulled all the contacts from all those systems together. And so you can see it's a pretty long list and scrolling through it to find someone would take a while to do. Um, but it's cool. Now I have one place that, that I can get all my contacts. Um, and instead of doing that scrolling to find people, you can actually um, go to the charms menu do search and then type in a person's name, make sure people is um, there and it will move to it automatically. And so I've created this test account um, and linked it up via Facebook. Um, so this is a fake account here that we're going to go to. I typed in and part of the person's name and then you'll see it brought up a list of the ones that match it. And so if this is the one I'm looking for, I just click on it and it will bring up whatever information you have on this person. Um, now what this is is a, a fake Facebook account. Um, and so it's bringing up the information it got from Facebook, which isn't a lot. Um, but you can see it also now. It's telling me it's from Facebook. It's showing the profile pic from there. It's showing me in what's new what this um, fake account has posted for a little while. And you can see down here I can, I can like it, um, I can add a comment to it, um, whatever you want to do. And you'll also, of course, see other people's comment. Um, just think of the Facebook page, but with what I think is a nicer interface. And then it also lets you so, show, show photos and everything like that. Um, if you go to the app menu at the bottom, you'll see there's a couple of other options though. Um, one of them is edit. And edit will actually allow you to go and put more information about this, this person. Phone number, address, um, you can see here job title, just general notes. You can put in a whole bunch of different email addresses or phone numbers. Um, and now this information isn't changing their Facebook contact, obviously. You can't edit the information there. But it's going to store other contact information in your contacts folder, whatever the default one is. So mine, I believe, is Hotmail. And so anything I type in here will be stored in Hotmail. But Windows 8 will automatically merge that with the Facebook information. So everything will show up on this main screen. Um, for the person. So I have one place that I can go to for it. And the other thing you can do here, you'll see that there's this thing called link. And what's that that's used for if you click on it is it's going to allow you to link this this account up with other accounts that represent the same person. So if someone has a slightly different spelling of their name or they put their middle name or something and Windows 8 doesn't detect that it's the same person, um, the information will show up in two separate contact cards. And you can use this to basically go through 
um, choose contact, we'll bring up the people app, go and pick the person, the other, the other account that's linked to that one, um, pick it, hit add, save it, and then all the information will be merged together. So if this was a person in my work email um, system, it would also have their work information showing up into the site. And so that's really cool too. Um, it, it sort of allows you to manage, manage your accounts much better than having all this disparate thing, especially with LinkedIn, Facebook, all of those. Um, and then the other thing you can do is you can actually um, pin this to start. Now, that might seem like a curious thing to do at first, but um, I've been sort of playing around with it, and this is, this is pretty cool. So I hit the pin, it allows me to give it a different name if I want, but I'm just gonna keep it there. Now if I go back to the Start menu, it always puts it over to the right edge, you'll see now I have a separate tile just for that person, and that tile is a live tile. Um, I'm not sure if I can change the size, but let's see. No, it's going to always be small. But if we wait long enough, you'll also see doesn't, it doesn't just show their picture, it will also show their status information. So if they post something on Facebook, you're going to see this show up in this window. And so this could be good for close friends, family, someone that you tend to pay a little bit more attention to in Facebook or other ones, because otherwise you basically have this this one tile with all contacts in it and it's just going to show um, people's faces so this is a way to get to make the web page a little bit more personalized it could also be maybe there's a there's a actor or something that you're following or even a page on news that you want these live tiles will will show the information and it just showed it to me before the video but it doesn't look like it's going to that test message was showing up though that um, we saw and of course you click on this and it will take you and so that's the kind of thing that will show up in the message there. So I'm going to close that one. Let's go back to the People app. Oh, I guess I have to relaunch it. Um, and so strange. Um, so the other thing this does too is you can see there's a what new what's new link. And so if you click on that, that's very much like your home page on um, on on Facebook and so it's going to show you basic information um, things people have shared and posted and then you can go ahead and like click on links watch videos all that kind of stuff if you want to see what you're up to or post your status you actually click on the the first one there the me icon and so I click on the me one and it will show um, notifications that are applicable to my account it will allow me to post my status here and then you can see here it's actually shown the last thing I posted so it was a, a video of a guy playing a pretty um, pretty good guitar player playing trance music on his guitar and so you can see here, I can see that who's liked it, some comments people did, I can add a comment myself. Um, and so really nice integration with Facebook. And I'm still playing around, but LinkedIn, some information is starting to come through there too. And I'm not a Twitter user, so I haven't played with that, but um, sort of a very cool feature. Um, the last thing I wanted to show you with this too is it also integrates with other applications. So for example, um, I had some photos up here. Let's say that I wanted to share this photo with someone on Facebook or post it onto the wall. You can actually use the charms menu, pick share, and you'll see um, that it gives you options. You can mail it, do SkyDrive, and I'm not sure why it was showing Facebook before. I'm not sure why it won't let me do Facebook this time, um, but there is a way to do it, and I'll try to figure that out and, and um, bring it back to you guys once I figure it out. Let's try this. No, I don't know. For some reason, it doesn't want to do Facebook at the moment. Um, it could be that maybe I have to be logged in to do that. I'm just curious. So I'm going to go ahead and try this now. No, I don't know. If I figure out, um, watch the comments and I'll, I'll post there, but I was able to post a picture um, from here onto my Facebook, uh, Facebook page last night. And so it's pretty cool. Like it, it allows you to do quite a few things there. So um, that's it for this video. Stay tuned. I, I'm surprising myself in the number of different things I am discovering and going to share. Um, so I thought 10 videos might be all I'd be doing for this, but I'm going to keep on posting them until... Um, I don't find anything new to share with you guys. Stay tuned.